Imagine soaring thousands of feet above the earth with no roads, no maps, just the open sky and the wind beneath your wings. You're crossing vast continents, guided by an instinct older than time itself. Thousands of miles lie ahead, but you know exactly where you're going and why you need to get there. This is the world of bird migration, one of nature's greatest wonders, where countless species embark on journeys that span the globe. Bird migration is one of the most fascinating phenomena in the natural world. It's a story of survival, adaptation and endurance, a journey that has evolved over millions of years. Long before humans started charting the world, birds were already experts at navigating it. But why do they migrate? How do they know where to go? And what does it take to travel such distances year after year? Millions of years ago, Earth's climate was constantly shifting. Ice ages came and went, continents drifted apart, and ecosystems changed drastically. For early birds, this presented a challenge. As seasons changed, food became scarce, and many birds had to move to survive. Those who didn't were left to struggle in barren landscapes, while others began making short trips to areas where food and shelter were more abundant. Over time, these short trips grew longer as birds adapted to the rhythm of the changing world around them. This instinct to travel in search of food, warmth and survival became hardwired into their DNA, and thus migration was born. But as the Earth continued to evolve, so did the birds. What began as a survival tactic for certain species transformed into one of nature's most magnificent displays. Some birds started migrating farther and farther, with each generation pushing the limits of how far they could go. The Arctic Tern, for instance, holds the record for the longest migration, flying an astonishing 40,000 miles every year from the Arctic to the Antarctic and back. That's the equivalent of circling the globe twice. And they're not alone. Birds all over the world, from the tiniest songbirds to the largest raptors, embark on incredible journeys in search of better conditions. How do they actually manage such feats? How do they navigate across thousands of miles with no maps, no GPS and no clear markers? The answer lies within their remarkable biology. They have an innate ability to sense the Earth's magnetic fields, which acts as invisible road signs in the sky. This magnetic compass, along with the position of the sun and stars, allows birds to navigate with incredible accuracy. Some species, like pigeons, even have tiny iron particles in their beaks that help them detect these magnetic fields. What's even more fascinating is that birds are born with this knowledge. Without ever being taught, they know exactly where to go on their first migration. Take the Arctic Tern again. These birds don't learn the route from their parents. They simply know. It's as if their path is written into their very being, passed down through generations of evolution. But for some species, the journey is not purely instinctual. Young birds often learn from their elders. In species like cranes and geese, the young follow their parents, learning the routes and safe resting spots along the way. Migration is not just about direction though, it's about endurance. Birds must prepare their bodies for the gruelling demands of the journey. Some species, like the bar-tailed godwit, almost double their body weight before setting off. These birds undertake the longest non-stop flight of any species, travelling over 7,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean without stopping for food or rest. Imagine flying for nine days straight with nothing but open ocean beneath you. It's a marathon of survival, fueled by fat reserves they store in their bodies before takeoff. But even with these incredible adaptations, migration is far from easy. Birds face enormous challenges along the way. Fierce storms can strike at any moment, throwing them off course or exhausting their energy reserves. And then there are predators. Raptors like hawks and eagles know when and where to hunt migrating birds, targeting them when they are weakest. On top of that, human activity has made migration even more perilous. 
Urbanisation and habitat destruction mean that birds are losing their stopover sites, places where they can rest and refuel. Bright city lights and tall buildings disorientate birds, causing fatal collisions during their nocturnal flights. Despite these dangers, many birds complete their migration successfully year after year. It's a testament to their resilience and adaptability. The Swainson's hawk, for example, migrates from North America to Argentina, travelling in huge flocks and soaring on thermal air currents to conserve energy. They form spirals in the sky, gliding effortlessly for miles. Yet, their journey is one of necessity rather than choice. As winter approaches, the food becomes scarce. The Swainson's hawk has no option but to leave its home and head south. The challenges of migration are not limited to weather and predators, though. Climate change is becoming one of the biggest threats to migratory birds. Rising temperatures are altering the timing of migration. Some birds are leaving earlier or later than they should, arriving at their destinations when food is not yet available. This mistiming can be deadly for migratory birds timing is everything. Arrive too early and the landscape may still be frozen or barren. Arrive too late and competitors may have already claimed the best resources. Yet, certain species have become icons of this incredible journey. The Arctic Terns Round World Voyage, the Bar-tailed Godwit's non-stop endurance and the Sandhill Crane's ancient rituals are just a few examples of the wonders of migration. Each species has its own story, a unique journey that showcases the strength and beauty of nature's grand design. But as we marvel at these incredible travellers, we also have to ask, what does the future hold for them? With human activity continually encroaching on their habitats and climate change disrupting ecosystems, the future of migration is uncertain. Conservation efforts are now more important than ever. We lose migratory birds. We don't just lose a spectacle, we lose vital parts of our ecosystems. Birds play crucial roles in seed dispersal, pest control and even pollination. Without them, entire ecosystems could collapse. Still, there is hope. In some regions, like the East Asian Australasian Flyway, international efforts have been made to protect vital stopover sites that millions of migratory birds depend on. Wetlands and estuaries are critical areas where birds can feed and refuel before continuing their journey. In places like China and South Korea, governments and conservation groups are working together to restore these habitats, recognising that migratory birds connect nations, ecosystems and continents. These journeys, though ancient, are increasingly fragile. The cumulative impacts of human activity from deforestation to pollution threaten to unravel the delicate web that supports migration. But through dedicated research, tracking technology and global cooperation, scientists and conservationists are finding ways to help migratory birds overcome these hurdles. In North America, the Lights Out initiative is one such effort, encouraging cities to reduce light pollution during peak migration periods, ensuring birds have a safer flight through urban landscapes. By engaging the public in these efforts, we're building a broader understanding of the vital importance of these birds to our shared environment. As we learn more about the intricacies of migration, we're discovering just how interconnected the survival of birds is with our planet's health. Protecting migratory birds isn't just about saving species, it's about preserving the balance of nature itself. Whether it's the plovers on the shores of the Arctic or the hummingbirds that cross the Gulf of Mexico, each bird plays a role in the complex web of life. As the sun dips below the horizon, the birds press on. Their journey is far from over, but for them, it's simply a part of life, a testament to the incredible power of instinct, endurance and the natural world. The next time you see a flock of birds flying overhead, remember the story they carry with them a journey across thousands of miles, fueled by the unrelenting drive to survive. If this journey has inspired you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
and subscribe to the channel for more incredible stories from nature.